how to use BIP application. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shahid and today I'm going to tell you how you can use the BIP application, the certain features. Uh, is it different from other messaging application? So without wasting any time, let's get started. So first of all, this is the first page or the first, uh, the home page of the BIP application. As you can see here will be your messages. Uh, but the first thing that I want to tell you, there is a button at the bottom, at the left, or at the right bottom corner. Once you click on that one, as you can see, you can find uh, the option number first is new group chat. So here actually you can create a group. Once you click on it, then you need to select the people you want in that group. And so once you have selected the people, there is an arrow at the bottom. Just click on that one and here you can find uh, the next page where they ask you the group subject. Here you can give a uh, name for your the name for your group so once you choose a name there is a photo option once you click on it you can choose either a photo take a photo or choose photo and there is a search web option as well so you can click on that one and you can click you can search a photo for your group chat on the web as well so here from here you can just select any emoji and then you can add that one into it once you have done with that there is another very important thing that i want to tell you there is the group scheduler so here is you can see uh, is the termination time is unlimited if you want the group to be terminated after one hour three days one week one month or custom you want to do it by yourself so you can choose any of the option and if you choose it unlimited so the group will be for unlimited time so this is how you can choose uh, the different duration then click on the tick mark at the bottom and the, the group will be created so this is how you can create a group the next thing is join group using QR code so once you click on it somebody sent you a QR code so here you can scan the code and then you can join that group as well the next thing is the new broadcast and just below that the thing that I want to discuss with you is the new channel here you can create a new channel uh, for you uh, it, it can be on anything like you choose the topic that you want to create a channel on so here you can also create a channel that is how it is different from whatsapp um, telegram have the same option by creating a new channel but here in this application you can also create a new channel so here you can type the name any name for uh, your group so once you type the name there is another option channel type private channel or public channel private means that once you click on it private channel can only be joined via an invite invitation link so you need to send invitation link and then a person can join it but if it's a public channel then anybody can search and if they find your channel in the search then they can join your channel so this is the difference between the two and then you can enter just a short description of your channel that what is the channel all about what you will provide to the people on your channel so once you are done with that you can click on continue and your uh, your channel will be created so this is how you can create your channel as well on BIP application uh, so this is a few things that we have discussed now I will tell you if you click on more here so once you click on more the first thing you see is your uh, profile so my profile name or the, the picture is not yet there so I will click on it from here you can edit your profile so here you can choose your name I will type my name uh, what's in your mind you can select your status here as well and then another thing is that you can choose your profile picture take a photo or choose from gallery so there are two options where you can select your profile photo and when you are done you just click on the done and the changes will be saved so this is how you can change your name and your profile photo so guys how you can send text messages and your media files on bip application to your chats so i will select a chat and i will show you how you can send so here you simply can type a message as you do on other messaging application at the left side you can see the emojis and here you can select the emojis and you can send it and here you can find stickers as well you can send stickers and there are some cool stickers on bip application where you can send them to your chats 
and make your chat more interesting with your friends so this is how you can do and just beside the stickers there is a meme uh, option as well once you click on it there are no popular memes right now so actually maybe they will edit sometimes so this is how you can send you can send text messages here you can go to the attachment and from here you can send documents you can go to your gallery and select a picture and you can send it there is your camera option as well uh, you can take a picture and send it to your friends as well instantly you can share your location there is a buzz option as well once mm -hmm. you click on it so uh, it will vibrate uh, the phone off the receiver as well so this is how you can send a buzz and another thing that you can send your contacts as well from here so this is how you can do from here you can open your camera take a picture and send it uh, to your friends as well and you can change to back or front camera as well and if you hold uh, the capture buttons for a long time so it will record a video and then you can send it so this is how you can do uh, if you want to send a voice message just click on uh, the voice message option at the right bottom corner once you click on that one you you don't need to hold it you just click one time and then you want to record your message and then the message will be sent so this is how you can do how you can make a voice or video call uh, at the top as you can see you will find the options the video call option and the audio call option so you can make both a video call and audio call as well so if you click on the person you're chatting on the name uh, so once you click here you can see um, shared media the media you have sent uh, you can find it here you can mute notification as well from here if you um, you want to custom the notification there is an option as well so the one important thing is that you can block the contact from here which i want to tell you so if you want to block somebody you can do it from here as well just block the contact and the contact will be blocked another important thing if you can see here there is the three dot menu uh, at the top right corner once you click on that one as you can see you can uh, search the chat if you want to if the, the chat is too long and you want to search a particular uh, chat so you can search it from here you can make it a secret message as well so what is a secret message select the duration that your message will disappear so it's like a disappearing messages but here you can select five second 30 second and 60 seconds so choose one option so if i select five seconds and then i uh, sent a message uh, to one of my so as you can see there are five seconds and the countdown has begun and the message is disappear so this is how you can do uh, once you go back to to that select the duration that your messages will disappear there is an off option as well so once you click on it so the disappearing messages the secret messages option will be disabled so this is how you can do turn off notification you can do it from here you can clear chat from here and there is a very important thing that which is called translate setting so once you click on translate setting here incoming auto translate so if you are talking to a person anywhere in the world so there is a language barrier and he sent or she sent you a messages so you can enable this option and the incoming messages will be translated according to your uh, phone language which you have selected if if suppose you have selected english so the message is coming in other languages like german or spanish or any other language so it will auto uh, translate it or you are chatting to another uh, person and uh, you want the outgoing is also auto translated you want those messages should also auto translated so you can select enable that one as well so this is a very good option in this application which uh, help you to translate within the application so this is how you can do so guys another very important thing that i want to tell you after messages as you can see there is a calls option so here you can find uh, your contacts and from here you can just select either audio call or video call and you can send uh, you can call to to your uh, contacts from here so this is how you can do and even you can see that who call you or you can see your call logs from here as well another very important thing is that uh, there is an option at the bottom which say more so once you click on more here you will find um, that uh, uh, your profile at the top 
so as uh, I told you before you can change your profile picture you can change your name from here and you can select a status for yourself as well like a short bio about yourself so this is how you can do from here and then there is an option of games so once you click on games it will show you uh, many options like many games that you can play online on bip application uh, it's taking a bit of time so here they comes so most popular and there are many categories from where you can select for girls and so this is how you can select um, a game and you can play it uh, so this is uh, also a very really good option on this uh, application from here you can see your contact list uh, the other thing is that you can uh, go to your camera from here you can uh, take a picture um, like this once you click a picture so there is a uh, so if you enable the HD, so the picture quality will be HD and then you can crop and there are many edit options so, so you can use and then you can add a, a caption or anything, a text and then you can send it to your friends from here as well. So this is also uh, a very good option that you can use. Um, if you go down, you will find the setting options. So, so once you click on the settings, here is the first one is the chat settings so the first one in that list is the backup so here you can backup your messages um, once you click on it backup my data once you enable this one you need to enable it so your messages will be backed up so there is another option is chat wallpaper you can actually uh, select a chat wallpaper from here uh, any there are some many wallpapers some cool wallpapers uh, you can choose from so you can select it is your chat wallpaper um, or you can go to your photo library and from there you can select any photo to make it your chat wallpaper so this is how you can uh, change it automatic download once you uh, once you click on it there are three options that never Wi-Fi Wi-Fi and cellular so if you want to download something like somebody sent you a, a video or a audio file or anything and you want to download that one so if you choose only Wi-Fi so once your phone will be connected to Wi-Fi that file will be downloaded so if you do it never then you need to do it um, it will not be automatic you need to download it um, manually and then the second the other option is that Wi-Fi and cellular either Wi-Fi or cellular network is available at that time so your phone will download the media file so this is how you can uh, select and then uh, the media that people the media file that other people have sent you if you choose like save uh, to the gallery if you enable it so everything will be saved and to the gallery the next option is the last scene so if you turn last scene off you will not be able to see last scene status of your contacts as well so if you off it for yourself that people cannot see you but uh, you will not see other people last scene as well uh, so it depends on you if you um, want to enable it or disable it so this is how you can use uh, the chat settings then the next is the notification so in notification there are call notification messages notification group if you join some group or you created a group from here you can uh, change the notification settings from here uh, discover notification or channel notification if you have a channel or you subscribe to some channels so from here you can change the settings as well so this is how uh, you can change the notification settings for certain things then there are blog contacts the people which you have blocked you can see the list here and there is an option at the top right corner once you click on it from here you can select anyone and then you can block them um, so this is uh, another way you can block people the next setting is my account so once you go to my account here you can see your phone number then you can clear the history that what whatever you're doing on bip application you can clear it from here you can even uh, clear your email history you can uh, search for your email history here you can log out from here as well if you want to log out or you can delete your account so once you click on delete my account from here you can delete once you click on ok everything will be deleted your account and all the data in it everything will be deleted so this is how you can delete your account 
the next option is uh, the privacy option so once you click on the privacy and here the first thing is security so passcode and touch id from here if you enable it when you set up a passcode a lock icon will appear on your message page so once you uh, created a passcode or when you set up a passcode and then you open your application so every time you open your application there will be um, a lock icon on appear on your messaging page so from there you need to put your um, uh, you need to type in your passcode and then you can unlock it so if you enable it then you need to uh, to enable you need to um, set up a, a passcode for your messages so this is from where you can do it then we will go to appearance uh, so in appearance you will see here that you can have different modes so one is night mode and as you can see it's changing um, to show you that how it will look so whatever you like there are some some options and if you don't want so you can select the day option uh, so this is how you can change some themes this is the app themes available inside the application so at the bottom as you can see there are some payment settings as well and sms settings as well if you want the sms to be received on bib application you can default sms application so if you enable it so you will receive all the text messages on bib so this is how you can you can do it uh, so right at the bottom as you can see there is a help option so once you click on help options here you can contact uh, give some suggestions or rate the application or you can even complain so select one and then type your suggestion or your complaint at the box and then send it so this is how you can contact them there are terms of use or privacy policy if you want to check that out so this is how you can do it so guys i hope you like the video if you like the video please like and subscribe our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon i will see you in the next video till then take care bye bye